Hello everybody, Princess here with Princess and the Bear, and today we're gonna talk about Mykonos. Now this mozzarella cheese is my favorite vegan cheese of all the vegan cheeses. I actually freeze it and shred it and put it on my pizza. But today calls for a different kind of introduction. This time we have Mykonos Pizza Mots. This is a liquid mozz that is on limited pre-release. I got it special, so I figure why not make a pizza? We make everything from scratch on this channel, but of course you can always go buy your own pizza dough. If you watch to the end of the video, we'll show you the step-by-step -step on how we made the dough. Let's go ahead and try this mozz. Behold, you are holding the meltiest vegan pizza cheese ever invented. For the first time, Mykonos revolutionary liquid mozzarella that's taking pizzerias by storm is shared with a limited group of compassionate home chefs. How did I get this liquid cheese, you might be asking. Well, you have to pre-order it on their website. It is a limited quantity, but they should be releasing it soon. Check out their website if you wanna try the liquid mozz for yourself. So here we have the finished product in use. Pizza Mots. Pizza Mots. I mean, this is basically what we've been asking for for Mots is something that was easier on pizza. Yeah. Before this, we had to go through like this complicated, well, not really complicated, but we had to like freeze the Mots for like 15 minutes and then shred it and then like. Evenly distribute it. Evenly we usually distribute needed it. two packets. We cook it, then we have to boil it to make sure that like it melted and looked the right way. But this. Uh, this was just pour and go. This looks like Pizza Hut. I kind of wish I'd put the whole bottle. Kind the, of mad the at whole it. garlic meme with like they asked for one clove and you put six. That's the princess. Oops. It was supposed to make six personal ten inch pizzas. Ten inch pizzas. We have enough for maybe like spaghetti. <laughs> anyway, let's uh see if it tastes as good as the mozz we know. Cheers. Dink pizza dink. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. It just like melts. It has like, just that smooth, like full melted cheese consistency. It's definitely the same Mott's flavor that we're used to for Mykonos, but like the consistency is like on point. Spot on. Oh, yeah. This is a huge win. Like, you can think of the best cheese you've had on like a. It's like the melty cheese you had on a pizza. That is like almost a carbon copy. I'm impressed. For me, that's definitely a five out of five plus. I would agree. This is like the best cheese alternative we've ever had. Not that I'm biased for my kudos or anything. I do love their products more than anything else, except for the one Smoke flavor. Smokehouse cheddar. Smokehouse yeah. cheddar is not my jam. It's, it's kind of strong. It's really wrong. It's just the flavor itself. Is I don't like the flavor. But other than that, I'm, I'm into it. I'm feeling like my kudos retains its crown. Oh, for sure. But if you guys have experienced uh, vegan cheese, you think melts and tastes better than this. I doubt it, but I still want to know because we're going to eat it. But uh, like this is excellent. Uh, and when it does come out in stores, highly recommend that you buy it and try it. 
I'm comes out in stores, we're probably going to be broke. Yeah. If you have any other recommendations, things you'd like to see us try, eat, open, go to, explore, comments in any place, let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. Doesn't take very many ingredients to make pizza dough in the bread machine. First thing we do is open up our lovely bread machine and add one cup of water. Three quarters of a teaspoon of agave syrup. If you're not vegan, you can use honey. Next, we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of salt. Nextly, we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Next is two and two third cup bread flour. Now you can use all purpose flour. The difference is the amount of gluten. The bread flour does have more gluten in it. You wanna make sure that you get the flour to cover all of the liquid fully. Lastly, you're going to add a half a cup plus one tablespoon of whole wheat flour. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be whole wheat flour. I've used garbanzo bean, almond, flax is my favorite, favorite little extra flour. It's just some additional flour to give your bread some more seasoning. Last ingredient is yeast. Make sure you do not use the same spoons with the yeast that you use with the salt. The yeast are living and they will die. Now we're gonna set this on the dough setting and we go.